everybody, I'm Mike the Zorch, and today we're reacting to a video that everybody else is reacting to. Uh, this uh, user is Pint, and he is ex an extremely talented video maker, content creator. Uh, he streams a lot on Twitch. Um, for the longest time, he was a World of Warcraft player. He's one of those World, World of Warcraft players who abandoned WoW and moved over to Final Fantasy 14 and he's made one Final Fantasy 14 video so far and a lot of people have been reacting to it and a lot of the big people Asmund Gold has reacted to it Zeppla Preach I mean all the big former WoW streamers who moved to Final Fantasy 14 have all reacted to this so it's my turn so I'm not a former WoW player, though. But, uh, gonna react to this thing, cause it, it is freaking hilarious. This, I, I, I've watched some of his previous WoW videos. He's got a really good one. Um, a little bit of a slightly upbeat, uh, heartbreaking story about how he had a great friend during the game and then they sort of lost touch with each other great video so i'm gonna do this one this is uh i enslaved my final fantasy 14 guild well they're not called guild and guilds in final fantasy 14 they're called free companies but you get the point so let's take a look at this video <laughs> All right. Now I know what you're thinking. Final Fantasy? Is that not the game with the Goofy in it? No. <laughs> Final Fantasy is one of the best games I've ever played. I've been playing it for months now, and let me Where'd tell you, you get that the only thing Goofy about this game is the stunts I pull. I've been known to engage <laughs> in some mild tomfoolery on occasion. And when I first heard of it, I thought I'd hate it. Cause in my fantasy game, I used to have children, that. Actually, my other character does. In my fantasy game, <laughs> cat girls. Ah, that one's alright. Yeah, Until that's fine. Until last year, I genuinely thought the aforementioned Goofy was a staple of the Final Fantasy franchise. <laughs> Turns out he's actually no. from a different game. But yeah, the Kingdom Hearts style still never really seemed like my thing. But the uh, the game franchise that nobody can understand. I've never been more wrong. I love this game, man. Since I have the number one most important opinion on the internet, I figured I'd grab that pretty little head of yours and shove my new favorite game into those eyeballs. <clears throat> so, from the lovable developers to the shocking realization that you've been on copium for years. That today, was Yoshi Peach Avatar. Adventures in Final Fantasy XIV. And what got me so invested so quickly? Rabbit Girls. Our journey. Yes. And Cat Girls begins here, in Uldar, a city run by the two most evil groups in society. Tyrannical politicians who do anything for coin. True. And short people. Your first impression of La La Fell might be the same as any other small race. Cutesy, played by 40 year old men, and an awkward bust. I'm 50 and play a La La Fell. Female La La Fell. He's on to us. Run! Oh. Bus ride if you're scrolling through Twitter in public. However, Lala fell. Uh, don't be misled, my viewers. They may have a thin veil of cuteness, but yes. evil knows no bounds. <laughs> yeah, stop petting me! I reveal to you the secret <laughs> of all Lala fell players. The smaller you are, the bigger other races are. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, with my cute face, complete lack of ethics, and desire to get a 20 minute sponsored video out without playing ball, I pulled up my boots and set out into the city to make something of myself. So, I went to my mum for help. She said I should make some friends and get a, a gun. Job. So, in my bid for power, I began handing out cakes to the local guards, which were definitely not poison. Stop asking questions. <laughs> Until it came to my attention that the princess had gone missing. <laughs> How awfully convenient! <laughs> the Surely whoever would save her must be held in high regard. <laughs> what a lucky opportunity um. to prove myself. 
I decided that I would help find the princess. So I opened my map and started running towards her exact location. And that is when I saw... <sighs> yes. Uh-oh. Fear not, princess. Because I am here. My Hero Academia reference. Alright, this is the Nanamo voice. I don't know how I ended up here, but thank you for saving me, Rabban. Rabban. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. How, how'd you get here? <sighs> Ladies. Bankred. I, he's seen so much development in this game. Do you like this rock? <laughs> Minecraft eating sound. Think. Feel. Think. Trivia. Um, trivia here. Heidelin's voice in 1.0 was done by Claudia Black. Um, and then later her voice was done by the voice actress that later on, and it, it, the voice actress changed. But later on in 2.0, the voice actress switched to the voice actress who did um, a Major Makoto Kusanagi from Ghost in the Shell. And then it changed again when we, later on, we, we went on into, uh, Endwalker. <laughs> Mommy! Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> it was then that I was a Mommy with the royals of Uldar. And I graciously accepted my growth and political power. Once again, you'll be happy to know that Technoblade is now safe in her own castle. I was hoping to network, yes. but the best seat I could get was next to her dad. And all he wanted to talk about was the war five years ago, where countless lives were lost because of the Asian slash uh, fucking uh, the moon. Which is weird, because I killed one of these guys like 15 minutes ago. That's right, this ancient, powerful being was no match for me, a regular, ordinary adventurer. Damn, bro, that's crazy. <laughs> you gonna finish that? I'm gonna go to the best. <sighs> he is special. Mm, mommy. And so Thancred brought me to his it's friends. Cam. The Scoins of the Seventh Dawn. Scoins. Um. Meet our heroes. I have awaited your coming. <laughs> For her, that's appropriate, considering how people react. The one everyone hates, except for, um, the ones yes. everyone should hate. Oh, not Papalino. The guy whose dialogue doth <sighs> skip. The E-Boy. I never doubted that he'd come. <laughs> and this guy, yes, we'll get to him later. Together they form the Scones of the Seventh Dawn. <laughs> and the primary goal of this organization is to kill the Primals, which are demigods summoned by various tribes around the world. Primals usually just mind control anyone that doesn't have your powers. <laughs> because this lovely, curvy lady has given. Boy, that takes on another meeting later. Spoiler alert. Given you the power to remember things. So it turns out all of those blackouts I had were actually a good thing. And not damaging my brain. And so <laughs> you team up with the members of the Shallots of the Seventh Dawn. Shallots of the Seventh Dawn. Guy. Who is 16, internet? You make wonderful <laughs> friends. Use your power for good. And... Um. And to tell you any more would spoil things, but trust me, the story in this game is very good, and I like it a lot. Now this can be a very social game, which means you're gonna be meeting a lot of new people. And this game can have quite a twisty story, with many plot points yes. that can be easily spoiled. Hmm... Those seem like conflicting qualities. While I admit it can be a little stressful dodging spoilers on my Twitter timeline, this game oh, does Twitter this combo itself the best is. that I think any game possibly could. And the community, generally, <laughs> is super anti-spoiler. The hmm. only things I've had spoiled were kinda minor and were kind of accidents. And annoying as spoilers are, I am a streamer. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. So I probably have it worse. You've probably already played it, or it's probably only going to be about as bad as- Oh, dude, 
Dude, wait for Heaven's Ward. <laughs> it gets so good at Heaven's Ward. It gets so good. But yeah, spoilers. <laughs> Bad. Hate them. Now, back to the story. Taking my payment. Thank you for slaying the primals, but there is more work to be done. And, you <laughs> and so I ventured forth yeah. as the hero I am, ready to save the world. What? Wait, what? What is that melody? You're dancing. My god, they're dancing. What are those faces doing? They're smiling. <laughs> the people were having fun. Oh, and the music. The music was... Welcome to Final Fantasy XIV's Endgame. Limta Super copyrighted. And as new <laughs> as I was to the game, that was sort of the first moment where it clicked. I spent the rest of the night taking screenshots with the pals. Look at this guy, he's playing a male character in a video game. <laughs> it's a feeling I hadn't <laughs> felt in a while. Okay, guys, it's time for Pint to pay his rent. The plan was simple. <sighs> get in, grab the greatest mobile game of all Odd. time, and get out. And to pull this off, I'm gonna need some backup. Meet my three favorite spooky Halloween champions. Harvest Jack, he's a... Well, as much effort as he puts into this ad for this, they better be giving him some bucket loads of money for this. <laughs> Jack of all trades. <laughs> Miscreated monster. He's the brains of the operation. If okay. only they were his brains. And Madame Ceres. She's really hot. Um. Agreed. We made our way through the main door. All was going according to plan. Until we got to the vault. <laughs> but Madame Ceres set off the alarms. Bwam, bwam, bwam. Oh no. They're trying to steal the greatest mobile game of all time. Well, I can see why. With over 400 champions to collect, epic dungeons to clear, and a PvP arena where they And a wallet to empty. ...can fight against other players. They'd be fools not to. Oh, that's my favorite part. Have you seen the commercial with the orc? <laughs> oh, that commercial <sighs> is ravishing. But the gameplay is to die for. Oh! And so is the debt that you were going to play in it. They're getting away! <laughs> Pint! Why? Why'd you do it? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Have you heard of Raid's newest Halloween update? We're talking big rewards. Tournaments against other players, and that's not even the best part. I'll be able to get my hands on a brand what new the hell? legendary Halloween Little Miss champion. Annie? <laughs> oh, my Uber's here. You know the game's free, right? You could've just downloaded it. Yeah, on mobile devices and PC. <sighs> no! Um. Miss Pumpkin? <laughs> I... I, uh... I worked with your husband. He wanted me to tell you to... Click the link in the description below, or scan my QR code to get a free epic hero Chunoru. One uh, experience, one energy refill, one ancient shard, and 200k silver to help Junior get through college. You'll find your rewards here, bud. Add over. Um. For the next week, I farmed the golden source of free emotes. <laughs> I think I like it here. Yes. Oh look, there's a racing game. Sweet, I got bunny ears. Now I can focus on getting a cool outfit. <laughs> Save us, the primals are coming. Did somebody say Palace of the Dead? Sounds pretty cool. <laughs> Crafting jobs doesn't sound cool, but somehow is. I could have sworn there was something I was supposed to be doing right now. <laughs> Very easy to get sidetracked in this game. I think that's a... Yes, it is. Discovery we all make along the way. Mom, Dad, I have something to tell you. I decided to quit my job as a hero and become a dancer. A dancer? Well, the party buffs are useful. No, Father, like this! <laughs> One of the best parts about this game is that there's so many <laughs> definitions of endgame. There's your usual solo content or rating or whatever. But under little rocks here and there, people create songs, dance routines, fashion, interior design, the economic true domination. End game. Some of the most hardcore players I've met are high-end ultimate raiders. And yet, they are mere insects beneath the boots of role players. The penultimate form of a Final Fantasy player, <laughs> logging on daily to take cute screenshots and dance. Breaking a bottle of Fantasia.
Those things are like gold. And that's like kinda not even a joke. <laughs> and having done a couple raids, it's not like the raids are bad either. It's actually some of the most fun I've ever had raiding. It's just you have a choice now. The driving force is fun. Nothing is mandatory and everything <laughs> is encouraged. Because to make a fantasy world feel real, you need Except to Crystal Tower. Crystal game. Tower is mandatory. And your maid cat girl photography enthusiasts. Now I think it's about time yes. we got around to killing those primals. Yes. Cat girl maids. Definitely. Or <laughs> I could do something better. Oh. What if I told you that me, the best mage player in the whole world, the betrayer of guilds, found an even greater <laughs> foe. This content would make even the most experienced raiders quake with fear. That's right. I decided to try and buy a house. Oh, that's that's extreme savage unreal content right there. But there's a few catches with buying houses. Firstly, there's a finite number of houses on any server. Mm -hmm. There's just under 400,000 houses in all of Final Fantasy, which is not a lot when you consider the player count. And Actually, the player count, they announced what the player count is now. 24 million. So this is actually an old number. Slots only become available when someone doesn't log in for 45 days. I'll tell you about the second catch in a moment. It's a big one. <clears throat> Attention, everybody. There is a fucking house for sale. I ran to the plot, looked around a little, and I hovered over the purchase button. <laughs> Was this truly where I wanted to live? Yes. This would do nicely. So I clicked purchase. <clears throat> so here's the second catch. At some point in a 24 hour period, the house will randomly become available for sale. No, what he's about to talk about here is changing with the next uh, pat with the next patch coming up. They're going to be implementing a lottery system where you you bid on the house, you put down the money, and if you get the house, they take they take the money, and everyone else's money gets refunded back, and you get the plot. So they're going to do a lottery system. Instead of doing this, which bots still exploit and find a way, they're going to do a lottery system now, which completely, completely kills the chance of um, bots getting it. It's the way, only way that they seem to figure out how to do it fairly because they have a finite a number because the way they did the housing instead of each house being its own instance they wanted to create a, a community they, that's why they have the residential areas they wanted they wanted to foster community and it sort of works over on the japanese side but everywhere else it hasn't worked that way and so now they have this system ingrained in, in the game where they have a limited amount of housing and they're having to add all these different subdivisions and different areas to it in order to make enough room for people to get houses. And it's a convoluted system and now they're having to do this because bots were exploiting it to grab up because yeah, people were people were grabbing up the properties, the houses, and then selling them on eBay for real world money, and jewel sellers would sell them in order to build up the money that they would use to, you know, sell to other players. So to stop that, they're doing the lottery system so that. Um, to make it a little more fair so that legitimate players get the houses instead of the Jill sellers and, and stuff with the bots. Meaning, to acquire a house, you have to repeatedly do this <laughs> and hope that you're the person that purchases the house the moment it becomes available randomly in a 24 hour period. Not anymore. <laughs> <sighs> 
I actually that 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 tune. I recognize that. That is from one of the Rayman games. I actually like that part. That is a, that is, that's a good part of that game. I don't have time for this. I give up. Now, now, that's not the pint I know. <laughs> well, I guess there is one thing I could do. Hmm? <laughs> I don't know, it's kind no, of... No, 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 what, what, what is it? <laughs> I mean, I could, uh, could, I could exploit the working class. Meet wife havers. <laughs> oh, the things wife we havers. do together. The conquests <laughs> we'd march. Right out of <gasps> you guys by a house. <laughs> you know, for the guild. <laughs> we had two people around the clock clicking a placard and the rest of us would sit there to make it seem like there was more competition than there was to scare <laughs> off potential competitors it was truly a chance for us all to bond a learning experience and what i learned in this experience is that my friends are fucking psychopaths this is job she was there for 40 hours over four days oh how do i know this only the fucking google doc we created <laughs> hours camped the plot opening times and to see how close we were to committing human rights violations now now keep camping you wouldn't want to go back to torgast would you after about three days though one of our happy little campers discovered something something that would blow this case wide open take a look um. at this chart Yep, turns out in the first eight hours, the chances of a plot opening are basically zero. And for the creamy, most efficient strat possible, you want to click in this four-hour window. Doesn't work this way anymore, uh, though. Yes. Only or it won't work this way anymore. Short hours of clicking. As luck would have it, on the dawn of the fourth day, during <laughs> prime time, I sent Jub a very funny meme. And she tabbed out for a moment to look at it. The house. It sold. Psych, we bought the house. It was us. It was us. It was our backup clicker. There's always a backup clicker. Backup clicker, now yes. We had a place to call home. And we relocated immediately because the goblet, say it with me, is for, for broke, broke ass, ass bitches. bitches. <laughs> <sighs> so, Final Fantasy, huh? Crazy to think that it was always fucking here. It has been very refreshing. And at the risk of sounding a bit too serious, it's taught me a lot of valuable things about myself. Trying new things, being a nicer person. That's the consistent thing with a lot of people who were WoW players who came over to Final Fantasy XIV. They said that being on FF XIV has actually made them a better person, made them a nicer person. It's because World of Warcraft fosters fierce competition between the players because there's open PvP in the game and players are constantly competing against one another for things, for resources and everything in the, in the game. And Final Fantasy XIV doesn't have any of that. There is PvP. There is PvP in the game, but it's separate from the PvE side. And so there's more, you're incentivized to cooperate with other people, to work with other people, rather than compete with them. And this has fostered a far less toxic community. Of course, every game has their toxic elements. I mean, Final Fantasy XIV does have them. Uh, even before WoW players started coming over, we've had them. We've had elitists in the game before, but they are a much smaller minority than they were in WoW. In WoW, they were a much larger group. And those people coming over here who have adapted well to the change in culture over here, they say that they've actually become nicer people in the game because, you know, if you're in a dungeon and let's say you're not familiar with the boss fight and you wipe, instead of getting angry and leaving, everybody goes, all right, let's try again. And they keep trying and trying until they get it or until, you know, time runs out. Occasionally, you will run into the situation where someone will rage quit. Someone will leave the group. They get penalized for that. They'll, they won't be able to go back into the duty finder for a certain a period of time. That happens to the first person that does it. 
but usually people try and people usually don't criticize you for you know how you play you know you're not playing the way they expect you to play things like that and Square Enix is trying to discourage people from doing that. In fact, they will they will suspend you for doing that sort of thing because they don't want that kind of culture in Final Fantasy XIV. They don't want it here. And so they are really taking a stance against it. I mean, a hardcore stance against it. They're a little harder than usual. But Yoshi P has been a veteran of WoW. He was a veteran of WoW. He knows what the community's like. So he knows what they don't, what kind of community they don't want in this game. And so he's set up the rules to uh, basically keep that kind of crowd out of Final Fantasy XIV. The ones that will be problem for, for the community. You know, of course, it means, you know, alienating certain people, certain players. But if they don't adapt to the community, if they don't uh, learn to get along with people and they stay angry all the time and get upset at just because someone's not able to keep up with them or keep up with the mechanics, which get insane later on in the later raids and boss fights in the later expansions. I mean, they get crazy. These mechanics get insane. Someone described playing Final Fantasy XIV like playing DDR and Guitar Hero at the same time, which is pretty damn accurate. Anyway. I've got a bunch of new friends, way less stress. <laughs> and honestly, man, just kind of a better mm -hmm. outlook on life. I don't think it's just the game that's done that, but still, I'm happy. Plus, I got this house. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, this, um, everybody's been responding to this video. Everybody's been reacting to this, because he's, 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 he's extremely talented when it comes to video editing. Now, he does a lot of streaming on Twitch, and I just recently followed him there, and I followed his other channel, and is this is hilarious, and it's all true. You know, Limsa Limsa, all the glamour and dancing and the music and everything and the housing, that's the real end game of Final Fantasy XIV. And it's true that a lot of WoW players who have come over have all said being in Final Fantasy XIV has actually made them a better person. It's made them a nicer person than when they were playing WoW made them a nicer person and it's easy to see why because 14 fosters not really competition uh, you have PvP in the game but you're not competing with people for resources you're not competing with people for rewards or getting your better gear or anything like that you will never have an instance where you're joining a free company you're going into content with them and you get kicked out because you're not performing well like in a wow guild if you're not performing good enough they'll kick you out you'll never get that and square enix frowns upon that that sort of thing they don't allow it and yoshi p was a a wow veteran so he knows what that community is like and he doesn't want that community he doesn't want that mentality in final fantasy 14. he knows what he's dealing with and so Renix is uh cracking down on it they're getting a little they're 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 cracking the whip they're they're hitting the ban hammer a little little more than usual but only because they know what they're dealing with 
Now, a lot of people have been coming over from WoW and, you know, they've been bringing... Oh, excuse me. They've been bringing that mentality over and then they they hit the, the culture difference between the two games. And some of them have adapted well and they say that it's actually made them a better person and other people, they they can't handle it. They can't handle it because they're, it's not, they've been so used to the negativity over there in WoW. So used to the negativity. Anyway, uh, this has been Pints. I enslaved my Final Fantasy XIV guild video. Everybody has been re has been doing reactions to this and I thought, you know, why the hell not? So, I'm in Mike Desorch. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit subscribe. Click the bell icon for notifications. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. What am I going to do? Well, for the next one, Hmm. Well, I'm waiting for Inside Star Citizen to start back up again. They're on break right now, and they haven't released anything new yet. So once that starts back up, you'll see more uh, Inside Star Citizen video reactions. Until then, I'll see you next time.